in the last episode of Marduk Chapter 2, the new hero, Marduk, redeemed himself by f <laughs> I surrender. Let me live. Promiscuous mother's grave. <laughs> uh, uh, what? The upper left section of my right lung. My spine, the pain. Oh, come on. That is right. Thunderbolt. <laughs> what? I oh, wasn't even a power of Oh my goodness. Emila. Emila. Come on. We should go. There's no point in staying here anymore. It doesn't look like Steel's going to be getting up anytime soon. But I, I didn't mean to. Don't have my phoenix down. <coughs> OMG. He, <laughs> he kind of <laughs> he kind of needs a res. 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 Um, give me a quick second. He kind of says I needs a res. Res. Oh, OMG. Or easy. Plaz. Plaz. Oh, throw him a phoenix down. There we go. Sorry. I had to ask about that really quick. Welcome back, recruits. I'm glad to see most of you made it back, but what happened to Steel? Um, he, uh, I. Steel regrettably fell in battle, sir. He was reckless, which is typical of him, and he rushed arrogantly in battle with the bandits and fell quickly. Because he wasn't quite as strong as he believed himself to be. That sounds very believable. It is a terrible loss, but these things happen. I, we must always be ready to face the realization of casualties in the field of work. But his death was not in vain, no? You defeated the bandits, correct? Yes! Ah, oh, today's bone! That is the kind of thinking that royal guards should have. I am pleased that you did as you did. I am also pleased to announce that you are past the test and are now honorary members of the Zero Guard. Bravo! Huzzah! Wait a minute, Mardek. You're not DC. Can't do that. That's not cool. Let it go. <clears throat> Pass the test for Zero Guard. Oh, ceremony. The king! The king? Oh, well, I can't wait. Let's go to the throne room now. Yes! We all get knighted. <laughs> Z -z 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 -z. Uh -huh. hmm? Who are your people? What do you want with me? <laughs> Alright, let's see how it goes. Loyal servants of Gonzor, protectors of peace, savior saviors of cats, <laughs> sprinklers of flowers that look a bit thirsty, breathers of air, eaters of. Oh, right, <laughs> right, right, right. I actually can't remember the proper speech, but it's not important anyway. I don't want to thank you all by re reciting some memorized piece of ancient tradition at you. Oh no, that'd be a tad meaningless in my opinion. Instead, I'd rather thank you all personally for your tremendous work today. Well done, all of you. I am very pleased to promote you to all the status of Rural Guard of Gonzor. Protectors of peace, I hope you wear the title well and defend the innocent from Malavint, with a heart driven by pure intention, other than the hate or vengeance, jealousy, or grudges. Now that you are all Royal Guards, you receive missions, missions on a regular basis. Uh, I'm, so, I'm sorry, King. You're... Now, new guards, you are dismissed. Okay. Well, I'm sorry, I believe that we're not Royal Guards, eh, Marduk? I'm just more step closer to become mighty heroes like Social Fox. <laughs> it's so exciting. I'm glad I'll be defending people of Gonzo. No. I'll be fine. With the vile blights of evil. Isn't a great feeling to know that making a difference in the world, making people happy, doing will probably be meet incredible happily? <sighs> okay. Too many voice acting. Just like Steel. Is that still bothering you? You honestly can't say you miss him, can you? Are you going to say you loved him deep down or something like that, even though he treated you like filth? Or an object all the time, you know, speck or good server all the sudden stuff. What's that? Like, but I killed him. I killed a man. It's just bothersome, that's all. I mean, that's one thing to kill those faces named as bands, I don't know, but it's supposed to deal. Oh, he's just gone now. Thanks to me, I killed him. I robbed him of everything he had. I suppose I could never thought about the effects of killing someone too much until this. Okay. Alright, we're moving on. We're moving. We're moving. There's storyline. I. Just reading this as fast as I can because I'm, yeah, I'm not, not gonna voice act anymore. Just unless you guys want me to, if you guys want it, post it in the request. You guys want me to um, continue my voice acting ways. But until then, I think it's just gonna be obvious. I'm gonna kill the man. Whoa! I'm sorry. I was just reading off that, and not reading off my thoughts. Would you kill yourself, Donovan? Because we're just going doing that to those bandits. <laughs> yes, there's that argument too. I guess you should stop thinking so deeply about all this. We're soldiers now. Members of it. We don't know help more people than it hurts, correct? Killing a bandit might give him to a, bring grief to his family if he had one. But not killing him would cause him to bring grief to many families. I suppose you're right. Good night. Night, Emila. I'm going to forbid, Charlotte. I think the company would. 
do her well. Um, okay. <laughs> you retreat to bed too, men. Good night. So, good night, you two. Well, night, Donovan. I'm going to bed now, Marty. So, uh, good night. That's right, playboy. We have control. Let's go. It's locked. Hmm. What do I want to do? Locked. Ah, hate dorm rooms. Seriously. These guys are good college students. They lock their dorm rooms. That's how you do it. No, I didn't want to... So, Marduk, are you awake? Well, yeah. Wow, a lot happened today, eh? Well, I just can't believe that still's dead. I know, I mean, I always wanted him dead, I suppose, but I should be happier, maybe, but I'm not. Especially after the conversation just then. I can't stand to see Emma like that. She, she made a good point, too. Have you ever really thought about things? The life of the people you might kill? We fought those bandits today. Did, did you consider they might have families that they'd never see again? Because it makes us no use to anyone if we think about it. You just break out down on the battlefield? I mean, that's all we are, I suppose. Tools. Don't want us breaking. I am astounded that humans even consider such things. In my limited experience of the humans of Nevada, and I saw them only to be mindlessly violent. Slaying any and who all stood in the way with no consideration that they were people. Two rather than just targets. Well, were you angels better than that? <laughs> funny. We were probably worse. Maybe not violently. But we certainly treated the drama like objects rather than other sentience. I always had a problem with that, but the others never listened. And now, after that crystal arrived, eh, I said I'd, I'd not go on but my past or purpose. So I'll leave it at that. Vague, mysterious. <laughs> Don't ask father, please. But I must bring something up. What is it? <laughs> it sounds urgent. It might be, but I'm not sure. Since I had melded with Marduk, my initiate powers have sort of been on the fritz. I've never been detecting things I shouldn't, and detecting other things that turn out to be nothing. I guess we're exploring these minds. I got an overwhelming feeling that I could not, I can't ignore it. I could be wrong, and I hope I am, but the other thing, my race, another angel, is here in this world now. Well, it's good. You can have a chat about old times together, and then maybe he can take you home. <laughs> I doubt that greatly, you say. I sort of refrained from telling this before. It might be frightening to you, but edgy, but, well, I'm not exactly light, but the others of my kind. Well, what do you mean? I mean, uh, if the others are here, chances are he's after me. He's looking for me. Yes, probably to to destroy me. <clears throat> ah, see, this is why I didn't mention anything before. I don't know if he'll be able to detect me, though. I can only pick up on his vague magical signal, but I can't say where he is. And I like, like I said before, I could be completely wrong. I have just detected a monster or something. The mine was full of magic crystals. Maybe that has something to do with it? Actually, you're right. That seems reasonable. Because I can't feel it anymore. It could, I could in there, but that must have been it. The magic crystals, yes. So, uh, it'd be best if you don't think about it too much, what I've just said. The chances of finding me here of all places are pretty low, anyway. And they probably assume I'm dead by now, since it's been so long. So please, don't worry about it. Well, okay. We should go to sleep now, though, Marduk. It'll probably be a big day tomorrow. Okay, well, night, night! Woo! Yeah! What? What time is it? Let's save. What time is it? 1.38 AM? Unheard of. So Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Woo!